so you, I have mute all the all the mic microphones, but you can uh, you can activate your microphones as you as, as soon as you like. Uh, you can activate the video if you like. Also, if your uh, internet connection is stable, um, we are still we're, uh, waiting for some people in Germany because they they did not uh, have the uh, proper link. It seems um, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. But I think we're going to start uh, right now for the people who have. Uh, who, who have uh, the pleasure to be here and to be uh, to be right on time? So we have uh, today uh, we have people from South Africa, from uh, from uh, from Finland, from uh, uh, from uh, Bulgaria, from Singapore, uh, from Germany. Um, and we also have Antoine, my my colleague. Um, Hi, everyone. Who works uh, with uh, with me? Uh, Aurore is not there today. She's uh, she's on holiday. Uh, so we're going to start right now. Um, and uh, if you do have a question, uh, you're free to ask. You can unmute your mic and uh, and. Uh, uh, and ask your question, or there's a uh, there's a chat possibility if you prefer to 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 to, to write. Uh, hello, Funk. It's nice to, uh, to see you. Uh, I hope you have the the, the proper link now. Um, so let's uh, start. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. And I think you all can see my screen now. Um, and uh, and see our presentation. So um, so we're going to start today by uh, speak today with the Pixie Track, which is our new solution for real time uh, tracking for refrigerated vehicles. Um, that is a solution we've been asked for uh, since uh, a couple of uh, a couple of years uh, by, by 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 some of you uh, because um, you have customers they that would like to record temperature during the transport of goods and they want to find an easy solution for that. Of course, they want to check conformity of their refrigerated vehicles. Uh, they want to react in real time in, in case of uh, incorrect temperature. Uh, they know they want to know they want to know where the vehicles are. Uh, they some of them think that they, what they have today is a bit complex in terms of uh, checks. Um, I mean, most vehicles have the uh, data loggers integrated into the vehicles, but it's not always very easy for, for, for them. Uh, and they want also, they have customers who, who, who would like uh, to, uh, to see the uh, condition of transport. So they, they, they people who, who would like to, to get proof of good temperature during, uh, at the time of delivery. And of course, uh, they all want to save time and not to spend too much time in doing those those controls. Uh, so our solution, Pixie Track, um, is a ready-to-use solution that measures uh, the temperature uh, on board vehicles and will warn in case of uh, a break in the cold chain. So we have put into the box one uh, GPS uh, beacon, one GPS uh, tracker, uh, one Bluetooth temperature sensor, one GSM package with uh, five years data and uh, access to ThermoTrack WebServe, our temperature monitoring platform. So when we go into details, we've got 
uh, the GPS tracker. Uh, you can see that on the video, uh, very, uh, very small. Uh, it connects directly to the OBD uh, socket. So for those who do not know, it's the, um, the socket for uh, onboard di diagnostics. All vehicles uh, since uh, 2000, more, more or less, have this vehicle, uh, this, um, this uh, feature. Uh, so uh, it's going to power the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the G GPS tracker. Uh, so that GPS tracker is, um, works with all uh, navigation systems, GPS, Galileo, uh, the Chinese ones, and uh, I don't know if there's uh, others, but I, I, I don't remember the names. Uh, and it connects to, it has a Bluetooth low energy wireless connection, so that we can connect with, um, uh, with uh, Pixie Trucks uh, sensors. So here is the uh, Pixie Truck sensor. You can see that um, on, 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 the, uh, on the cam. Um, if I compare with a uh, thermal button, uh, it's a bit bigger, but not that much. It's uh, 70, 57 millimeters high. It's 20 millimeters uh, uh, high. And um, it's uh, completely, um, it's completely waterproof. Uh, very, sorry, very, very rugged. Um, so it comes with um, with a bracket, so you can uh, either stick that or you can uh, you, you can uh, screw down on in the vehicles, and you can easily put and uh, remove the um, the uh, the Bluetooth sensor. Um, it has a, a range of minus 40 to plus 85, so goes for uh, any kind of uh, refrigerated vehicles, um, has an accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.5 degrees C. It has a battery which is given for five years. After five years, um, you need to change the, 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 the pixie temp. You cannot remove the battery because it's IP68 waterproof. Uh, 41 grams, uh, it conforms with the European norm for, um, uh, for um, temperature uh, tracker in vehicles, which is the EN12830. Uh, so, and uh, as, I, as I show you, you can easily uh, uh, mount this uh, either with the adhesive uh, or with the screw on uh, mounting bracket. Uh, we have included in the box a prepaid GSM plan. Uh, so the SIM card is included, 500 megabyte of data corresponding to five years data with a, me uh, with a measurement um, frequency of 15 minutes. And you can, of course, after the five years, uh, buy for, for more years. And that uh, prepaid plan is valid for 130 countries. Uh, so we have a, a, a large uh, numbers of countries uh, works into, uh, into Africa, into uh, Asia also. Uh, most, most countries uh, will, will work. So uh, we have uh, more than, 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 than uh, 300 um, carriers. Um, so um, whatever. So it works with uh, 2G, 3, 3G, 4G, LTE. Uh, LTE. So uh, not, all, uh, not, not all countries, but uh, Mostly it will work with uh, 2G, 3G, and 4G. Okay. Um, so that is very interesting to have these GPS uh, prepaid plan because it, it's going to be easier for your customer. 
uh, they do not have to care about that and uh, um, it's going to be also easier for you uh, to have uh, all, all in the box. So last part of the uh, box is the uh, Thermotrack web through um, account or that each customer will be able to get together with the um, Pixie track. Um, so it's, it's going to make real time vehicle tracking. Uh, we're going to have the uh, vehicle route and uh, of course all the features of uh, Thermotrack web serve. So alarms by SMS, uh, email notification on Android uh, can be, uh, you can have the graphs, you can have the temperature list, the automated uh, reports and everything you can have in, in the um, in Thermotrack. Um, we have a demo here. Uh, so you can, um, if you want to do that demo, of course you can use uh, the uh, demo demo uh, link, but there is also, also Pixie track. If you log with that Pixie truck login and password, you land automatically on a uh, map where you're going to have uh, all the uh, the uh, vehicles uh, on a map. Um, so here we can see we have two vehicles, two sensors in uh, in the north of France, and two sensors in the west uh, of France. In, in the north. Uh, we've got the list of all the vehicles here. Okay. Um, and if we click here, uh, we see that one vehicle is green and um, is, um, is okay. And one is red, so uh, must be too hot. Uh, if that is uh, too cold, it's gonna be blue. So if we, here we know it's the Reno B uh, and so the last time we had the the the, um, the uh, temperature and it was um, today uh, uh, today at 11:30 and that was 32 degrees C um, we have someone on the chat uh, will the customer need several thermal track license if they have multiple users no uh, the license for thermal truck web surf goes for for each sensor. So here we have uh, four sensors. We would need four uh, license of thermal truck web surf. But whatever we have uh, uh, one one in one user, two user, ten users, uh, uh, it is the same. It's um, the license price is per sensor, not per user. So. Uh, so you can have the um, the uh, quality manager uh, using the system. You can have the driver. You can also share that with the customers. We're going to sh show you how you can share that with the customers, with the recipients of the groups. But uh, no limit in the numbers of users, and no more, uh, not a single uh, euro more for a, a, a more one more user. Uh, Reno B, if I go into the detail, of course you have the graph, just like for an, any um, other normal or usual um, uh, fridge uh, in thermal track web surf, uh, on which you can, you can zoom, okay. Uh, and uh, we have the, Oh, sorry, uh, it's all in French. Uh, let's jump into English. Okay, right. Okay, let's go right back. So we have the route. So we can see that, okay, we, we have uh, 49 uh, readings here. Uh, that's my car, actually. So you can track where I am. 
Uh, so today at uh, 8.33, I was on that road and it was four degrees C. Um, um, sorry, I don't know where, I, where I've been driving today. Uh, sorry. Okay, right. And uh, that's uh, my vehicles at Project Plus. Uh, so we've got uh, nine readings because my 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 park is uh, my car is uh, parked right now. Uh, so uh, and we have all the temperatures in 32 degrees. Uh, it's directly on the screen of my car, so that, therefore you you can see that uh, like this. So you've got the route, you've got the values, of course. Um, in red, it's too hot. In blue, it's too cold. In white, it's it's okay. You've got the list of alarms. Um, so it has been uh, pretty cold that night because between uh, two two o'clock this morning until eight, there was a six degrees C. Uh, of course, uh, and yeah, let's see. You have the graph. And you can print that just like for any normal uh, or normal um, or usual uh, equipment in some track. Okay. Um, so for each user, uh, let's say Mr. Pixie, mix a Pixie, uh, let's say he speaks, not he speaks English. Uh, and his preferred uh, home page is not the list of items, it's the, the roadmap. So I uh, can check uh, like this. So Mr. Pixie uh, prefer the roadmap when he logs. So therefore, when you log as demo, you can you, you see the, 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 the list of uh, all sensors, including the uh, the, the, the my fridges, and you can jump into the uh, list of vehicles. Okay. So depending on the user, you land on the your home page. We're going to be the the, the the map or the list of uh, the list of items, but it's just the the same. Okay. Right. So when, when the, the vehicles is parked, you, you have a lot of, uh, of data. Uh, but uh, we need also to, 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 to keep track of the vehicles when it is, uh, when it is uh, stopped. Okay. Does anyone have a question? No question? Uh, Benoit? Yes. Hi, good morning. This is Neil. Hi, Neil. Uh, just a, a, a short question for understanding concerning the GPS data. Yes. Um, do uh, Pixie get the data from the GPS, from the car GPS? Or no. is, it, is it collecting the GPS data um, by themselves? By the, themselves. With a single box. Yes. Um, uh, you said you have to you have to plug the the pixie box uh, into the car. Yes. Uh, stick is that for power source? Uh, for power source, yes. Oh, okay, but it, yes. it, it, it 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 is not necessary that the car has has, has already uh, installed a, a fleet management system, which is connected over a, over a CPS system. It's a absolutely autonomous uh, working unit with an own with with own GPS. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. Very good. So the principle of that product means you have a very, very quick solution to to start a car monitoring system for a special temperature sensitive products, and yes. uh, it it stays in a car and it's not in a package, right? Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you you just have to. Uh... On my car, the uh, OBD uh, socket is uh, just. Um... Uh, below the um, below the um, fuse uh, fuse box, 
and um, I just had to uh, uh, I just have to to plug it like this, and there's nothing more. Yeah. Okay. Did you did you have got any 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 clients for that or any interested companies which got an interest and which kind of companies are these are these career services for pharmacies or for food or what actually kind of uh, actually right now we have uh, customers interesting into we have a big uh, big company in, um, in in dairy industry in in Morocco uh, we are talking about. 700 vehicles so okay. that's for food and uh, we have had some uh, smaller quantity, smaller um, customers into the uh, courier company for laboratory uh, samples yeah which which were not busy before in that branch so they, they got a lot of cars yes. but they, they just looking right now for additional uh, cost attractive temperature monitoring solution. Yes. To, um, yeah, to install further uh, into the car when, when there is no application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing um, is that um, the, the GPS um, uh, tracker and the, um, and the, um, uh, the, the sensor, uh, there's nothing to install. So, um, it, it, to physically install by by a mechanically or something something like this, so you, you don't need the vehicles to to go to the garage. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how it is in in most uh, uh, in other countries, but in France, most of uh, people uh, rent uh, their, their 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 refrigerated uh, vehicles. From a company called Petit Forestier, so uh, it's they, they are very very big in France. They have uh, uh, may, maybe uh, 40 50 percent of the market or in uh, uh, fleet um, uh, renting uh, cars for uh, refrigerated. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you, you get a you, you get a vehicles, and then after two three four years, you 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 change the vehicles. So it's very uh, important for the people to be able to uh, take the uh, the GPS tracker and the and the, the 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 sensor and to install that into the new vehicle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that means if there is no basic uh, installation from the rental company um, for 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 a monitoring, then it's a very good special thing for the client to do it by themselves. Yeah. Um, or if you if you're gonna if you're gonna use the car, some days they have to be cooled, and some days they are not temperature sensitive. It's yeah. your very um, various con various possibilities. Yeah, I understand. Okay, thank you very much yeah. for this explanation. Uh, Frank is asking uh, if the system is uh, conforms to uh, to uh, food uh, leg legislation. Yes. Uh, it is. Uh, I mentioned that the uh, Pixie uh, uh, Pixie Ten is uh, conforms to EN twelve eight thirty. That is the norm for uh, data loggers for uh, for transportation and storage of uh, fresh and frozen food in Europe. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's talk about price. Um, so we made it simple with a, a starter pack uh, for Pixie Track, uh, which uh, includes the uh, GPS tracker, the uh, the uh, the sensor, and the the, the SIM card. Uh, and then uh, you're going to have the thermal track web surf subscription. Uh, so, as for the fridges, uh, you have uh, you can choose between the uh, the annual subscription or the permanent subscription. So it's very flexible, and also it's going to be easier for the people to to enter into the volume uh, discount discounted price. Uh, for some of track web surf, especially if they already has uh, some uh, fridges or, or uh, 
walk in fridges uh, being um, coolers being uh, monitored by 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 thermal track web uh, so if we have a dual temperature vehicle we're going to start uh, we're going to take a, a one starter pack uh, one additional pixie temp uh, sensor and uh, two thermal track web subscriptions okay uh so the the limit per uh, pixie track uh, gps uh, tracker is four sensors so if you have someone with a truck with four fridges inside that can uh that, that might happen uh especially in the uh in the transportation of uh of uh, biological samples you may have a uh a room temperature uh, part, a, a refrigerated uh, part, and a minus 20 part. Um, after years, uh, five years, uh, we need to renew the GSM package. And then we also need to renew the Pixie Tramp sensor. Okay. Um, let's look at to the prices so that is our public prices in euro uh we're talking about 268 euros for a starter pack and uh if you add a, 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 a 70 euros for the uh, subscription to thermal truck web serve either annual or permanent, uh, just like the same price. Okay. Um, in most cases, I think, but the, the, the future will tell, uh, people will be interested in having a calibration certificate for the, for, for the, for the logger. Um, so you can have that uh, and it's going to be the same price than the, for a, another sensor or from a thermal button. Okay, uh, so Pixie Track 268 additional Pixie Temp or after five years, um, uh, 71 euros in GSM uh, data for one additional year is 24, uh, 24 euros. So if you calculate, uh, we, 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 um, we calculated uh, that it's uh, with the uh, permanent subscription we're talking about eight euros per truck and, and per year which is uh, very cheap compared to other systems any question uh, benoit yes the, uh, the additional pixie temp with fixing yes. is 71 euro is it the annual fee No, 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 it's the uh, it's for five years. The 71 is, are the costs for five years. Yes. For one sensor. Yeah. Oh, hey, wow. Okay. So um, when 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 they need two sensors in the car, they have to pay 268 plus 71, and it's all for five years. 268 plus 71 plus the subscription to some truck web serve. So let's say uh, let's say they want to the uh, the uh, permanent subscription. So it's going to be two uh, two times ten uh, two two hundred and ten. So four hundred and twenty. Sorry, four twenty plus two sixty eight plus seventy one divided by two uh, divided by twelve uh, divided by five. <laughs> it's six euros. Uh, per vehicles for uh, per vehicle for, uh, per sensor um, per month per month yeah on a period of five years yeah and if they if, if they just uh, decide for one year yeah. um, th this is the 24 euro they can prolong it every year yeah after the five for, for after. The, for, for the first year. Ah, okay uh, in the in the in the first five years it's in uh, It's, It's a, included into the 268 euros. Yeah. Yeah. And for what is the permanent subscription? In Thermotrack WebServe, 
we have two price models. Uh, we have the, and also customer uh, pay uh, for each sensor every year. Uh, and there's volume prices. Some people don't like to pay each year. Say so they, they want to they want to pay uh, one year uh, one time forever. So uh, it's uh, three times the, the 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 price. Yeah, but it's yeah. one time forever. Okay, so this means uh, for sure it was a stupid question from my side. This is these are the the, the web surf costs. Yeah, the the clients has to pay in addition to the hardware and to the GSM data packages, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just imagine that you have a customer who has uh, two vehicles, a small mm -hmm. one with two, two vehicles, and uh, and uh, and ten fridges. Uh, it will uh, it will for the the, the thermal truck web serve. It's gonna pay the the price for 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 twelve sensors. Yeah. So it will directly get the uh, the uh, the cheaper price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, th there's no stupid question. Only my answers can be stupid. So uh, any question, I would be happy to ask to 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 answer. Um, uh, Benoit, yes. there is a question on the chat from Tor. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, can the customer change the battery on the Pixie sensor? No, you cannot change the battery. Uh, after five years, they need to change the uh, to buy a new Pixie uh, Pixie trim, uh, Pixie ten. Okay, so pay uh, seventy one euros um, after five years. Okay, right. So um, some key advantages. Um, that solution is dedicated to uh, cold chain. Um, that is important because uh, you will find on the market if you if you Google that uh, you will find plenty of solution for fleet management that do very well. Uh, things like uh, knowing if the driver uh, uh, drives and how long uh, if there is uh, fuel enough in, in the truck, uh, if there is a uh, uh, high, um, high RPM um, or uh, um, heavy braking and so on. And when it comes to cold chain, they have, most of them have uh, uh, sensors that you need to uh, physically uh, connect to the, to, to the uh, to their device, so it means the vehicles needs to go to the garage, um, and their application is not done for for cold chain. So, seeing the graph uh, and getting the, uh, the 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 reports and export to Excel and everything that you have already in Somotrack web surf, they don't have. So, we have here a solution which is more made for quality managers uh, so um, so uh, it's very important um, also in the pharmaceutical industry uh, they have all the um, all the in, in important topics of the pharmaceutical industry like the uh, fda uh, cfr 21 part 11 compliance uh so really something which is derivated from from from, from thermal track web serve so well uh, every advantage of thermal track web serve is in the box uh the second big advantage is ready to use there's no sensor installation no complex gps installation um we're a one-stop solution provider uh because we offer the GSM package included, um, which gives less headaches to the, uh, to the customer because uh, uh, they don't need to uh, calculate how much they, uh, they are, how much data they will use 
uh, it's and there's no surprise. Those the the, the price uh, they have in the box uh, is the price they're going to pay. So very easy for you and for your customers. And of course, you have all the power of thermal dry wet surf, as said before, uh, especially for the tracks. Um, the tracks will have an updated view of their trucks uh, while on the road. So uh, instead of uh, having a screen, dedicated screen for that, they have the screen already into their pocket. They just have to, to log on the system and uh, get, the, uh, get the instant uh, temperature. And also for uh, people who, uh, if the customers uh, have the, the need of a proof of delivery by, by, by the time of delivery, you can imagine having the QR, QR, QR code, sorry, uh, sticked on, on the vehicle and uh, customer can uh, just, uh, the recipient can just uh, um, flash the QR code and are gonna have the, the temperature uh, like this. So um, if you like to, to test on that presentation, you can, uh, you can scan, the, the, scan the code and, uh, and that's all you need to do, okay? So, uh, it's very convenient for the for the recipients. Uh, we have one more question on the. Uh, can you assign the sensor to a specific box or cooler? Yes. Um, yes. Um, let's say if I look on the. Um, on the demo, so actually here you have Reno A and Reno B. It's uh, the, the the two are in my car, and they are uh, in uh, in the same vehicle. So uh, you can specifically name uh, each of them and say this is the, uh, the 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 cool unit, and the other one is the freezing unit or whatever. Okay. Um, Someone was asking if each Pixie truck has a QR code. Actually, not. It's it's a function of uh, Thermal Track Web Serve um, that you already have here. In the download section, you can get the QR codes, uh, which download a QR code for all of your uh, sensors already installed. And then you just have to stick these uh, to the uh, fridge or to the vehicle, and then uh, and then anyone can uh, can uh, click on the uh, scan the QR code, and uh, and get the temperature. Um, so I don't know if you you can try that uh, with your own phone, but I'm going to do that. I'm not sure you you can see that. Um, so you can see that, no, not me. Okay, so I, when I click on the QR code, I get the, 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 the last temperature. And if I click, it's not easy to, to do that. If I click, then I get to the graph, okay. And the graph is for the last 24 hours. And this is an access that any, no one can change that has the uh, access to the parameters. So uh, even a customer uh, of a customer can do that without the risk of having uh, someone uh, seeing uh, uh, or, or being able to uh, change parameters. Um, Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Do we have um, in the future um, external sensor for the Pixie uh, to put that into the core core of the food? Um, 
uh, that might be done. Uh, there would be two applications for this. There would be the minus 80 uh, transportation of, uh, of COVID vaccines and uh, would be some uh, other, uh, yes. Um, that could be done in the future, but um, I don't know what, I don't know when. Okay. Um, sorry. Back to the presentation. So, um, okay. So, um, uh, Antoine and I will send you all this presentation to you. Um, and uh, so, uh, so you will be able to download the, the, the links. So uh, the uh, PDF uh, page and, uh, and the, the, the Pixie Track solution on our new website and the uh, Pixie uh, Track brochure in PDF, the Pixie 10 data sheet on the, uh, on the web and the GPS tracker also. Um, it's all available on our website and um, so you have on the website in the product section you have the pixie temp logger and you have the gps tracker uh, and on the uh, solution uh, section you have the uh, the pixie track uh, all solution okay and you can download the um, the uh, data sheet uh, at the at the end of uh, the web page. Okay, so um, that's all for today. Short, but I think uh, effective. Hi, uh, good morning. This is Angie from Singapore. Hello, Angie. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, on my way to somewhere, so I can't, you can't see me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I would like to have a question here, or maybe two, is that um, may I know if um, the five years of uh, so-called battery that we, we commit to our customer, um, if if it if it will kind of worn out or you know um yeah kind of go when date within five years do we give the assurance that we will get a replacement or such because we cannot change the battery um uh, at our site. So your your question is to you know in in five years are we sure we get uh, the customer is going to get the replacement is that right? No, I'm saying that if the battery fails yes. within uh, less than five years, yeah, do we get a replacement for the customer? <laughs> um, actually, because it's the, always uh, very tricky here. Yes, the uh, things with battery is always a very interesting question uh, because, well, actually. Uh, in our calculation, the battery should last something like uh, until seven to nine years. Okay. But I want to be very conservative on this and I yes, prefer yes. to say uh, five years. Okay, great. Good to hear that. Yeah. That is uh, our Singaporean style. You know? We don't tell people that this is the <laughs> best. We have to be beyond that. Yeah. Um, second question I have here is uh, regarding calibration because um, we we have a sister company Isolab and they yeah. do calibration for uh, the customers and many a times um, it comes back to the question of after one year, two years or three years, there's a drift in the readings and the customer would expect the data logger or the system solution to be so-called adjusted. So uh, my question is that if we do a calibration uh, on these sensors, uh, are we able to assess to any uh, adjustments or tuning on the, the, the readings? You can do that on ThermoTrack WebServe. Uh, 
Okay. There's a uh, calibration section in the in the in the uh, for administrators, so you okay. can uh, you can uh, uh, enter the uh, calibration value and the sensor value, and it will uh, it will do the adjustments. Okay, great, great. So that's what I can think of. But don't worry about me. I have stopped my car, parked my car, and I'm uh, very safe now. I'm not driving and talking <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I, I know I, I know. in Singapore, you cannot do anything uh, uh, against low. <laughs> it's too expensive, you know, uh, to, to have a penalty that you are talking, uh, using your handphone while you're driving. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, everyone. Uh, that's what I have. Uh, if I have more questions, then I will send you an email. Thank you very much for the Thank session. You, Thank you, Angie. Enjoy your weekend. Mm, Thank bye. you. Same to you. Yeah. Um, who was asking that? Uh, so, uh, so the five years battery guarantee is for all the temperature range of the look. Yes, yes, especially uh, for the um, for the uh, for the cold. Uh, yes, uh, cold uh, temperature. Yes. Uh, do we get after the battery? Uh, <laughs> in the events the battery malfunction, do we get a replacement during the five years period? Um, <laughs> it's difficult to understand that question. I'll tell you in five years, uh, <laughs> Thomas. Uh, it's always difficult to, uh, to 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 reply to that question. As I said, we we have um, conservative about the uh, the battery calculation. Um, we work with people who have a long experience in that, uh, so we should be able to uh, really uh, meet the five years uh, without any problem. Um, do we have other questions from you guys? We have had a Lots of questions, but uh, Charmaine, no question? No, um, I've got no questions. Thank you so much. I will ask you questions as I go along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Benoit. Okay, right. So, yeah, uh, um, thank you very much for all of you. Uh, that presentation. May, I, I should maybe have uh, told you before I've been recorded, so I will I will send you the link so that you can uh, review that presentation if you like. Uh, we're going to send you the, also the PowerPoint presentation, and um, we hope that would be the opportunity for you to get new customers or new business by existing customers. And um, we thank you very much for all. Uh, all of you and have a nice weekend.